Hamish. It's me, Yvonne. Uh, hi, Mum. What's up? I was wondering if you weren't doing anything, if you'd like to go to the movies. I found one that we'd both like. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I've got my hands full at the moment. Not to worry. No, I'd love to, but it's just work. You know, I've got so much on my plate right now and I'm just struggling to keep up. Do you want me to bring some dinner over for you? No, 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 uh, but thanks. Lee May's cooking up a storm. Uh, how about we see a film next week? Next week would be great. Great. You better go and don't work too late. <laughs> yeah, see you tomorrow. And thanks. Nighty night. Night. Sick of your new family already? Oh, not at all. I like spending time with the bond, but you know, like most mothers, sometimes she wants a little more than I can give. Like her daughter wants too much from me. Is it really such a big deal if Jay and Maya want a kid by Norman? It is to me. Besides, Jay's more interested in the bar than a baby. But they seem sincere. Jay is sincere when it comes to money. You think she might be scamming you? Yes. Well, only one way to find out for sure. Scam her back. No, no, leave it, mate. You get back to your study. We'll do this. Hmm. Cheers, Craig. Was a good move, backing him on his art school application. Oh, what else was I supposed to do to get him back on track? Mm, probably nothing, but well done anyway. I still think he's making a big mistake. You? Yeah, how can you be so sure? Oh, for him, the best thing about photography is that it bugs me. That's a bit cynical, isn't it? Two weeks, his camera will be gathering dust and he'll be obsessed with something else. Motorcycles, or DJing, stamp collecting, and put money on it. Hey, have you talked to him about what he said about blaming you? Oh, why bother getting into another fight? My role as parent is to be blamed for everything wrong in the world. Talk to him. He must know how much he hurt you. Oh, I'm all right. Just hope that one day he's happy and focused and he mentions in passing how glad he is he sat his exams. Hey, he might even thank me. I won't hold my breath, though. Hello there, Wild West. Hello yourself. Husband let you out for the evening, did he? He's in Wellington. I, uh, I saw him off this afternoon. Good. Mm. A novelty. Meeting up with you and it's not even daylight outside. Shall we get out of here? So, why couldn't you tell us whatever it is on the phone? Because this has to be face to face. I want you to sign a contract. What sort of contract? This one. This is about your style, right? Lee May, if this is just you having a dig at me, it's, it's for real. I've already signed it. I will agree to you having the IUT on one condition. Which is? No, oh, you don't care about money or the bar, right? So here's the deal. I won't oppose you at the Ethics Committee. All you need to do is sign away all rights to the bar here. Do you mean it? Ball's in your court. Sign this and you get what you say you really want. I'm sorry, Lee May, but I can't sign that. I knew it. Why not? Because it's not right, baby, that's why. This is not what Norman wanted. Not what you want, you mean. Who cares about the bar? This means that we can have a baby. Sweetie, Norman and I had signed a contract together on good faith. He wanted us to have a child by him and he wanted that child to be supported. That's why the bar is guaranteed income to help us support that child. But we don't need it. I'm earning enough and then you can get a job later on. I'm sorry, but no. This, if Norman were here, he would understand. You make me sick. Norman this, Norman that. When all you care about is cold, hard cash. Jay, this is our chance to have a baby. Norman's baby. Now, I don't want to hear any more arguments about the damn bar. If you want a baby, sign the contract. I'm sorry, but no. And later on this afternoon, we're in Oz, where Miles and VJ make a gruesome discovery. Hummed away at 125.